Hey, it's H here. Today we're taking a look at our technical analysis for Bitcoin. I'll cover wave analysis with the to theory and provide multiple scenarios the price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here on one hour time frame, we've had this move for quite some time again. Um, one possibility is still this, where we have a 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Um, at the moment, um, we are still within this possible wave 4. Um, as mentioned, we have not hit the 38.2, which is again the most common target. Um, on the on the US stock market indices, we have had most likely this structure as a five-way completed, and that is one of the scenarios that I'm going to present again. Uh, within this wave four, if this is something that we are still want to entertain, this idea is that we had a some kind of three-way move up here, then a possibility of this being a three-way move, and then again another pull back higher or pull up higher now um, most likely targeting is uh, 382 depending of course how low we are going to get here the second alternate on higher time frame is this one where we have a one two three four five completing this whole structure down here at this point we would be looking to complete somewhere ho something higher here around this 18th of june or we would be looking for some kind of b wave bounce um, to around the halfway point of this whole structure now let's take a look at this structure inside here starting here on 15 minute time frame let's go through the bear scenario first um, overall they are very similar just because the wave structure again is very overlapping and it supports more of the bearish idea now in this one we have a wxy into wave w and then we are currently creating some kind of x wave here at the moment again we would be looking for this structure to do something like this into wave x and then looking for higher prices minimum target we would be looking for is this uh, 0.618 which is currently lying it's around the 22.3k area now the same uh, structure here for the bullish side um, but again uh, we're just going to be labeling this first structure a bit differently so that makes this overall structure uh, different as well a one two three four and five it looks okay ish as well like that so this could be a wave one or a wave a depending of course on the higher time frame and what you're looking for we have multiple options here so we have to be keeping our eyes and ears open um, to all, all of the uh, prior dates here and the possibilities of course on here, I've labeled this as a W and X and wave Y. Uh, within W or X wave, we had a W, X, Y, X, Z. Um, it is possible that we have this as a, a W, X, Y here or W, X, Y here. And then we would have something like this going on at the moment, um, where the X is just here on this peak. Um, but yeah, wave Y is coming to a close here soon. Um, within this Y, we have an ABC into W. Again, all of these are basically a three-way structures that look more believable as a WXYs. That is why I've labeled it as such. Of course, within the original Elliott Way book, it is said that you have to have compl uh, simple corrections within wave Ws and within wave Ys. Wave X can be anything you want, but again, um, where Ys should be a simple correction. I can't get that really looking good here at all. So that is the reason why I think um, think uh, this is more probable. So here we had the, uh, for the last leg of wave Y, we had this most likely a five way move here into A, then looking for wave B and then shorting here around the golden pocket um again this is a bit weird looking structures as they are um, kind of overlapping and zigzagging so most likely a one two um we can look at the rsi we have created a low here on at least 15 minutes let's take a look at the 30 minutes we did create a low here as well so most likely this here is a third of something now is it one two three is very possible we, I guess we could be labeling this substructure uh, as a 
possible one, two, three, four, and five. I don't think, uh, let me measure that, but way three is not the smallest here. He's really close though. Really close. Let's take a better measurement here. There we go, it's not the smallest. If we are labeling it from here again, one, two, three, four, and five. But we'll see what happens overall. Uh, this is again, very low time frame. Um, so keep that in mind. Now overall targets, again for the wave C, was the one to one, around 20.15K. 20, 20 uh, we've gone now to around these 1.236 and 1.382 targets, which again on the higher time frame targets for this wave Y as the one to one. So that is very good. Now, the one thing that I don't still think or consider this to be done is the fact that we have not taken these lows of the W or the first leg of this correction here. So that's why I'm still looking for a bit more downwards. Um, let's take a look again on these targets and we've already gone beyond the 1.618 here. So that makes it less viable, I think. Um, we might need to move this W, X um, into here. So three ways again to X, and then we would be looking for some kind of three ways correction downwards here. But we'll see how this turns out, or whether we need to be looking at this as a W, X, Y, X, Z instead. But that is pretty much everything I wanted to share at the moment. I would be considering this again um, some kind of divergences are happening here, although this could be played out already in here um, for this structure here. So um, it is tough to say, it is tough to say. We have this um, trend line basically that is coming up and we had these lower peaks here. Uh, of course, RSI is not recording that data because it is recorded on the closes. So we could be looking at it on the uh, line charts as well. But yeah, something to keep in mind. We could be developing some, some complex structures in here. Very zigzaggy, um, very complex to me at the moment. But I think uh, tomorrow we'll get a better look into this, however, or whichever way it is going to go to. My overall bias is still downwards as we did not, again, take these lows. But we'll see how, what happens. If you have other accounts you would like to share, there's a link to my Discord server in the description below. Also, if you would like me to update a certain other asset, let me know in the comments below. For now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.